Good morning, everybody. Hold on, let me bring my laptop up so I can watch the comments as you come on. Find me. Just a second. Fresh, maybe that'll bring it up. Okay, there we are. I'm going to click on it. I want to welcome you to my Facebook Live, which is Creating Cards with Debbie. My name is Debbie Foster. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I'm located in Bismarck, Arkansas. So I'm glad that you're here with me today. Be sure you comment when you come on. Um, that way I can keep up with everybody that's on here. And if you have any questions, you can ask them on there. And if I miss your comments, I'll be sure to go back later and I'll answer anything then. Um, let me move my camera over just a little bit. It looks like I might be out of screenshot a little. I tried to set this up ahead of time to save some technical problems. So I'm hoping that it works out okay today. Okay. Pull it a little bit towards me. Okay, and um, if you want to shop in my store for any of the items that I'm showing today or any paper goods products that you might be needing, um, you can find my store at www.debbiefoster.stampinup.net and my email address is creatingwithdebbie179 at gmail.com if you have any questions or um, any concerns or anything. And our host code for October is CSEA9XKB. So you'll use that code if your order is under $150. And it's also in the description of the video. So if you miss it, you can go back and look at that. Okay, so let's go through some housekeeping things and get that out of the way before we start our cards. Um, paper pumpkin for November or no October this is October one I always get confused it says ho 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 this season to be jolly and let me get my lighting back over here a little bit I'm hoping that's not too much Got some shadows going on, but it might be just the time of the day. All right, the holiday season can be stressful and overwhelming with so much to do and so little time. So check one thing off your list and have everything you need to make your holiday cards come to you with October's paper pumpkin kit. And there's also another added surprise on our October kit. Um, it'll also be carrying kind of carrying over to the November kit which will coordinate with this kit and that will be um, tags I believe so let me read this and um, explain it a little bit better it says it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas with these festive cards send merry and bright cards this holiday season with the ho 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 paper pumpkin kit with classic Christmas colors and holly jolly sentiments the cards in this kit are sure to bring the Christmas spirit. Word from the North Pole is that this kit coordinates with next month's paper pumpkin tag kit and the special add-on product. With so much coordination between products, it will be a breeze to create a cohesive holiday crafts for all your gifting needs. Make this season the most wonderful time of the year for your loved ones and for yourself. Okay, this month's kit will contain enough supplies to create nine cards, three designs of 
three each of three designs, and nine coordinating envelopes. Send classic Christmas with a whimsical feel this holiday season. Coordinates with the upcoming November paper pumpkin kit and North Pole sacks add-on. It includes an exclusive stamp set and an early Espresso Classic Stampin' Spot, all packaged in a special paper pumpkin box, which is pretty. Okay. So you have until October 10th to sign up for this kit. Um, it's always the 10th of the month that is the cutoff date, so uh, be sure you get your order in before then so you'll get to receive this one for October. It sounds like a real good one. And then also you'll want to get the November one. And the Paper Pumpkin is what it is. It's a monthly subscription, but you can cancel at any time. So um, if you don't want a certain month, you can put that one on hold and then just restart it again for the following month if you want that one. And I believe it's $23 and that includes shipping. So you just have your sales tax that might be added on to that if you have sales tax. Okay, and we've got more news going on. This is our um, promotion that Stampin' Up! has got going on for the month of October, which it started yesterday and it runs until the 31st of October. And it's a fabulous, a fabulous time to join Stampin' Up! For a limited time, new team members will get even more free products in their customizable starter kit. New team members will get $155 instead of $125 worth of products for only $99, plus free business supplies and free shipping and all the fun being a part of our fantastic community and team. So um, if you have any questions on that, also um, email me or private message me and I'll be glad to help you with this. But even if you're not wanting to start a business, this is a a good opportunity to get some extra products that you've been wanting and plus um, if it if you stay in it for after your starter kit you can get your next orders you'll have a discount on all your products so that's another added benefit and you don't need to do it like I do as a business you can just do it as a hobby and then just enjoy the free disc or the discounts that you get on all your products so, any questions, uh, be sure to reach out to me. And I'm going to set this all aside. Alright, I think our view is okay. So I'm going to just stay with that. Let me see. And I'm buffering a little bit for some reason. Okay, and I've got a delay on my laptop so I had to wait and see where my hands were to position my camera. So we're going to start out with our first card and I think I've gone through the, all the business housekeeping part of it so I think we're all set to get started. Uh, be sure you comment when you come on. Be sure that you share and like the video and I'm going to post this later today onto YouTube so be sure that you hit that subscribe button down below and then you'll be notified of any upcoming videos that I post. And I try to do at least one a week. But I'm thinking with the cooler weather coming where we're going to be stuck indoors more, I may add another video. So I might do two a week. But that's kind of in the works yet. I haven't decided for sure. So, okay. So here's our first card. And we're going to be using... I'm just trying to see if I'm in the screen here first. I've got a delay. This is our first card. We're going to be using the Blessings of Home bundle, which is the stamp set and the dies. And also I'm going to be using some sentiments that come out of the Pansy Patch and also the Sit and Stay Relax stamp sets. So I guess that shows okay. We're going to go with that. We're not going to sweat the small stuff today. Uh, I'm going to try not to get stressed out, which sometimes happens when I have technical problems. That's why I'm not showing my face this morning. Because it seems like when I go to turn the
camera around, that's when I have my most problems. So I just kind of set it up and we're going to let it be. So you're not going to see my face today. You'll just hear my voice, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> okay, so we're going to kind of get messy today with this card. Uh, but here's the front side. It says, a little hello from me to you. And that one was out of the... Uh, I already set them aside here. That comes out of the Pansy Patch, which is this sentiment right here. I like the sentiments in this set. Um, I don't haven't used it enough. I need to do more with it. And then the inside sentiment comes from... The Sit, Stay, Relax stamp set, which this is a cute one, too. We're going to be using this stamp set on another card, too, on the next card. So I don't want to move that too far away because I'll lose it. And then the flower, of course, comes from the Blessings of Home, and we're using this larger flower. And I've done a lot of the prep work ahead of time on this card, so it might save a little time. All right, we're going to start out with our card base, which is our thick white. And that measures four and a fourth inches by 11 inches. And then it's scored in the middle at five and a half inches. And we're just going to burnish that edge with our bone folders, which I should have cleaned my bone folders off. I hadn't done that yet. They're kind of getting kind of grungy. I just use uh, rubbing alcohol with a cotton ball and clean them off. It takes the glue and sticky off of it really good, plus the ink off of it. That's just to add a little tip that I'm throwing in there. Okay, and then we've got... I've got um, two of each one here, so we're going to... Okay, I was thinking one was smaller. I've got our basic gray. I've got two of those, and they measure four and an eighth inches by five and three eighths inches. And one's going to be for the inside layer, so that's why we've got two. And then I've got the basic white, two of those, one for the outside, one for the inside. And those are four inches by five and a fourth inches. And it seems like I had some more measurements here. Okay, and then I've got a half inch strip of the basic white, and that's half a half inch by three and a half inches, and that's going to be for our sentiment. So we're going to set that aside, and I guess that's all the cardstock that we're using. So we're going to uh, bring out our white layers. We're going to work on those first, and I'm using the artistic mix decorative masks. This morning, and I'm kind of out of camera view. Uh, let me see if I can't bring this up a little bit to bring you back in view here. Give me just a moment. I'm just going to do a little bit of adjusting here. I want it more in the center. Well, that might be too much. Maybe I'm just zoomed in too much. Maybe that's my problem. Let me take you back out a little bit. It's kind of hard to see because I'm bending over my phone trying to see everything. Whoops. That might be too much now, but we're going to see what that looks like. Well, it gives a view of everything. I need to zoom it just a tiny bit. Good morning, Amber. Let 
Well, we're going to leave it at that, I think. We're going to bring in our mask. And I put this on a piece of scrap paper, and I've already stuck it down with some washi tape. And I'm just going to slide my card in there. I'm just going to open one side. I guess that looks pretty good there. Uh, go the easy way. Yeah, I don't know if it's the easy way, but we'll try it. <laughs> Are you having a good day today? And so far, mine's going okay. Um, I can't complain, I guess. Wouldn't do any good to complain anyway. <laughs> That's with my husband. I don't complain to him very much because I don't think he listens to me half the time. <laughs> but I guess that's a man thing. Alright. And I'm going to have lens out here. And we're going to be using this Smoky Slate stamp pad, ink pad. Okay, Amber, you feel a little far away. Should I zoom it in more? Maybe I need to zoom it in some more. I might be able to see it. I might have zoomed out too far. Let's try that. Okay, and then I think I need to push away a little bit. Well, come on, phone. Got a delay on it. And... Is that better? Looks like it might be better on my screen. Zoom just a touch, yeah. Let me know if that's better. It looks better on my screen, but then I may be looking at it different than y'all. Okay, so we're going to take our Smoky Slate ink pad and we're going to do some blending with our blending brushes. I love these brushes. They're soft. And to clean them out, I just run them under the faucet and rinse them out and then let them air dry. All right, so I'm going to tap off just a little bit to get off the darkness. And... We're going to swirl. I'm not going to do this corner up here, the upper left hand corner. I'm just going to do this portion right here. So. I maybe should have done one of these ahead of time. But. I'm no hurry. I hope everybody else is in a no hurry today. Uh, we're going to have a laid back day and just do some crafting. Like the sign in my craft room, I have a little framed sentiment that says, this is my happy place. And this room is my happy place. I enjoy working on cards. It's very relaxing, very therapeutic. All right, I want to put a little bit more around here. I don't know if the camera's picking up the color. Yeah, Amber, I think I am a little bit crooked. Um, I never know which way to pull it towards me or against me. Or... Okay, looks like maybe this way. Let me see if that makes a difference or makes it worse. Okay, um, I'm going to take that out and kind of peek at it. Just take this one corner, this one side off and uh, pull it out of there. Yeah, see, I think the camera may pick it up. So while I'm at it, I'm going to do our inside layer the same way. And as long as I've got my ink and brush out already, I'm going to do both at the same time. And 
going to do kind of in the middle on this one. Just where I want to stamp my sentiment at, I think, mostly. Just to give it a little bit of color. So we're done with that. Close up our ink pad and we'll go ahead and pull this out. Okay, so here's our inside layer. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to go ahead and attach some of our layers here. I'm going to Put our front one, glue that down. And I'm using my liquid glue or green glue, like some people call it. Um, Tombow or mono liquid glue. <laughs> it's got all kinds of names. But that's my favorite adhesive. That's my go-to all the time. Oops. That's not quite straight out there. Let me scooch that over. And with the liquid glue, it gives you time to move it if you need to move your cardstock. And I do that frequently, it seems like. All right, so we're going to bring our card base over here. And we're going to go ahead and attach that to the front of our card. Maybe a little plugged up here. I'm going to take my pin and, and plug that. I keep a straight pin here on the side of the bottle, so if it gets clogged from having it open on my desk too long, I can just poke it and reopen it. <clears throat> I don't know why it is. My husband chooses a Wednesday morning to run the lawnmower. I don't know if you can hear it in the background. <clears throat> All right, we're going to place that on the center of our card, front. Okay, we're going to have a, quite a few layers on this card, but um, I, I like it that way with this one because it, the gray back mat brings out the white more, so I like that look. Okay, and then I've stamped our flower already. I've already stamped that using the black memento ink and I stamped that on a basic white cardstock. And we're just going to color that with our blends. So I'm going to bring my blends off here. And we've got which colors have we got here? Uh, we got Orchid Oasis, which is one of our new in colors. And Highland Heather. Granny Apple Green, and then I've got our Dark Soft Suede for the center of the flowers. And then I'm going to go around the edge of our sentiment with the Dark Smoky Slate, so that's going to be one of our last things that we do. But for now, we're going to just color our flowers. And I'm going to start out with the uh, Dark Orchid Oasis. And I'm just going to do a little bit of shading on the larger flowers. And I'm not going to do all of them here because I've already done some ahead of time, so it'll save a little time. And I'm going to do just this one flower and show you how I did it. And it doesn't have to be fancy because when you're shading like this, it's all going to blend all together anyway. Okay. It makes us look like a professional. <laughs> I need all the help I can get there. Okay, so we're going to come back in with a light orchid oasis. And we're going to blend all that. And I'm going to use the brush end on this one. 
because I want to cover a larger area faster. So Stampin' Blends do have two different tips. Um, one is for finer work and then the other one is for um, a larger area to do. So that's pretty cool. Stampin' Up! thought of a lot of things when they came across with these. And they still have the regular markers too, but I tend to grab the Stampin' Blends more than I do the regular markers. I guess they both have their own place. The markers are good because you can color onto your rubber stamps with those. Uh, where the Stampin' Blends you can't do that, so. Okay, so there's the outside of our flower. And then I'm going to do the center of the flower using uh, the dark soft suede. My tip on that's kind of messed up. We'll do this one. So, anybody got any big plans for the rest of the week or for the weekend? I know the weekend will be here before we know it. I don't know. Time flies anymore. I'm getting pop-ups on my screen here. Let me get rid of those so I can watch the comments. Alright, and then the smaller flowers, I'm going to do those using the Dark Highland Heather. And we'll do that with the blending first, and then we'll come back with the Light Highland Heather, and then we'll blend all that together. But I'm just going to do one flower here to save on time. Like I said, I've already got it colored already, so. Take some of the paint away. You won't have to sit and watch me. I guess that's sort of like watching paint dry or watch the grass grow. <laughs> Which the grass has slowed down now. Um, we're not mowing as often. I guess it's in the fall stage. It's getting ready to go dormant here. Okay, I need to bring back in my dark soft suede again. I want to do the center of that flower. Okay, and then we're going to use the dark granny apple green for the leaves to outline those and then we'll come back in with the light granny apple green. So let's do this leaf right here. I'm just going to do some blending again. I'm just making sure I'm on camera there. And maybe we'll do two of them. And we'll come back in with the light and fill that in. We're also going to do some heat embossing today. Um, that would probably be my last card of the day, a third card. That always amazes me to watch it change colors. I don't know <laughs> what's about it, but it fascinates me. All right, so there we have a sampling of our flowers, but I've already done those ahead of time. So here it is all finished. Okay. So we're going to put our flowers up on dimensionals. Oh, I forgot to say that I cut that out with the die that's in that bundle. And here's the dies. It's got different ones for different things. And you get, there's 11 dies in there, so it's quite an assortment. It cuts out most everything on the stamp set. Alright, and I'm going to place that in my little bowl so I don't lose it. So we're going to place our flowers up on dimensionals. Oh, that's cool, Amber. So you have a Bible journaling meeting. Ah, oh, that sounds real interesting. I have problems journaling. I never know what to say, I guess. 
I know when I was doing scrapbooking, that was the hardest part of it. Okay, so we're going to pop off those backs of those dimensionals using our Take Your Pick tool, which is one of my favorite tools. Besides my paper trimmer, this is probably right up there on my list of things that must have with the glue and scissors. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and place our flower down on the front of our card. I want to make sure. Sure, I've got that opening the right way. And we're going to place it kind of along this ombre side where it's kind of fading a little bit, the color. And I'm going to put it at an angle. All right, like so. And then we're going to come back in and we're going to stamp our sentiment. Hopefully, I get it straight. That can be challenging. And we're using our black memento ink and the stamp set that the stamp that says a little hello from me to you. And it kind of looks crooked on my thing. Maybe it's not. All right. I'm just gonna make sure it's inked up really good. <clears> hmm, <throat> goodness, I'm getting a frog in my throat. Could be the pollen in the air right now. Good old ragweed and all that stuff that's going on in Arkansas. So I'm going to stamp that off to the right side of our paper, our strip, half inch strip. And I'm going to hope that's straight. If not, we've got two sides to our paper. And that looks pretty good. That doesn't happen real often. I usually have to flip it over and do it again. All right, so we're going to flag the one end, this left side of it. I'm going to be using the Banner's Pick-a-Punch punch, punch, and we're going to be using this one here. I usually do this one, but I'm going to do this one, the Audi. And I want to do this side, so I'm going to turn it over. I always turn them over for some reason. I figure that way, if I get into the lettering, I can see it on the other side. And we'll be able to change it around. Okay, so there we go. We snip that. And we got that. I need some things out of my way here. All right. And I'm going to place just the right side up on a dimensional. And then just glue the other side directly down. And say I just have my dimensionals. Where did they go? So we're going to put... Uh, I'm going to put two at this side, at the right side. <clears throat> and then I'm going to place some glue at the other side to hold it down to our flower. And I'm going to pull these off of my fingers. We're going to try it. There. And you don't have any finger now. Sometimes it's hard to get a hold of those dimensional backings. Oh, I forgot to do one thing. Um, let me grab my... This is our Dark Smoky Slate Stampin' Blends. I'm going to run that across the edge just to give it a little bit of color variation so it's not white on white so much. And see where I can grab here without putting my fingers in the glue. I'll just stick my finger to the dimensional. That worked. And just, oops. Run it across there, which I kind of smudged it. Well, I'm going to go with it. And I'm going to place that. Uh, I don't like that one. I'm going to redo that. I kind of smudged it quite a bit. We'll do another one. I've got another scrap here. Um, in fact, I'd already done one ahead of time. It says a little hello from me to you. So we're going to go ahead and punch that out. And did that ahead of time just in case I did a boo-boo, which I did. Let's try this again. We'll go with the blender pen first. 
and you want to kind of hold your blender pin towards the back side because that way if you slip like I did with the other one it won't show on the front it'll be on the back side where it's not seen so that was my mistake and see, like I just did there I kind of fell off the paper and I hit the back side instead so that worked out good all right, let's do this again. Let's put our dimensionals on this one. We'll put two on the right side and glue on the left side. All right, we'll take off those backings again. And now we'll place that down. And I'm gonna place it kind of in this area and we're going to butt it right up against the edge of our cardstock there. Okay, there we go. I think that's straight. Yeah, pretty good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and assemble our inside of our card while we're at it. And I'm going to take that layer that we did the blending on and put that on the gray. I'm going to show you what I mean. Um, I should have done that before I glued it, but I'm going to kind of give you a visual here. Uh, without doing the mat behind it and just putting the white on white, and see if the camera picks that up without me sticking it actually to it. I just didn't care for that. It needed something to make it stand out more. So that's why I did the gray um, like this. So that makes it look a little better. I've got to delay on my iPad, my laptop, so I'm waiting for it to catch up to me. See, it kind of throws it off a little bit more. I like that. Uh, it does make the card a little bit thicker, so you might need an extra postage stamp on it. I'm not sure. Or you could hand deliver it, whichever. If you didn't want to send it through the mail and have to pay extra postage. In fact, I got a letter back or a card back yesterday saying that it needed more postage so that kind of upset me. I wasted a stamp for nothing and wasted an envelope because I had to tear it apart and put it into another envelope and then add a couple stamps to it instead of the one so I guess I guess the post office has got to make money somehow even after they raise the rates again on postage but that's life Okay, now I need to decide which way I want this to go. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and attach that to the inside of our card, leaving a small space going around again. And we're going to bring back our black memento ink and we're going to stamp our sentiment, which is from the sit. Oh, it's over here. It comes from the Sit Stay Relax stamp set. And I'm using the Just Sitting Here Thinking of You sentiment, which I think is kind of cute. And we're going to go ahead and ink up our stamp. And we're going to stamp that right in the center of the inside of our card layer. All right. And put the lid back on that. And I'll just keep this out because I'm going to use that again. All right, now we're going to add a little bit of bling, um, which is I'm going to use two of the pastel pearls and one butterfly that comes from the brass or brushed brass butterflies. And we're going to be using one of the larger ones. So let me go ahead with the pearls first, and I want to bring my Take Your Pick tool here to do that. Okay, I guess everybody's quiet today. And I'm going to use, um, we're going to go with the pink. And I'm just going to place 
two up here in this corner at an angle. And then I'm going to come back in and pick up one of our butterflies. These are in the annual catalog, both of these embellishments are, so that's where you find those. They're in the back of the book. Okay, so there's the front of our card, and I'm going to take a little bit of Wink of Stella, and I'm going to put a little bit of bling on my flowers here. But I'm not going to do the whole flower, I'm just going to do some of the outlining at the centers, just to add a little bit of bling to the flower. Well, us girls could never have too much bling, you know. <laughs> Okay, like that, and then I'm just doing the larger flowers. I'm not going to do all of them. And just some flicks on there. And then this larger one over here. And... We had kind of a crazy day yesterday. Um, I was supposed to go with my husband to the doctor, but I had too much work to do at home, so he went by himself. So I guess he was a big boy and he did okay. <laughs> uh, but then we have some family members that are going through um, some serious issues right now, so... Um, that was on my mind too, so I wasn't able to concentrate very well. And hopefully we'll hear better news today. Alright, so here's our first card. A little hello from me to you, just sitting here thinking of you. So, that's our first card. Hope you like that. And I'm going to go ahead and pull out our second card. And Get all my supplies here. And switching out our stamping things here. Color I need. Okay, so here's the card. <laughs> I'm using that same sentiment just sitting here thinking of you. Okay, yeah, I don't do a whole lot of um, scrapbooking anymore. Um, I did have a friend that was holding scrapbooking classes, but since the COVID, uh, we hadn't been able to do it, and we just hadn't started it back up again, so. Um, but that was when I first started out. I did scrapbooking, and then I graduated to card making, and it's kind of stuck with me. Okay, so here we have, it's a guinea pig, and that comes from the Glad We're Friends. And these are really cute. We've got, I did the dog last week, and the guinea pig today, and then the cat. And I was going to do the cat sitting in the chair. What did I do with it? Um, no, I've lost it. Um, oh, I had it already. Yeah, there she is. Uh, I was going to do the cat sitting in the chair and I couldn't decide if I wanted the cat or if I wanted the guinea pig. Um, you could vote on here and say which one you'd rather have and we can switch it out today. Uh, the cat or guinea pig. Let me know what your opinion is. They're both really cute and I've seen cards with the cat but I hadn't seen any with the guinea pig. So uh, I'll go ahead and pull out my scraps here and Wait until we get an opinion before we do that. So the cat. Yeah, I think I like the cat too. Uh, we'll switch it out. So I'll have a sampling of each anyway. So that'll work out. Alright, like I said, we're using the Glad We're Friends stamp set. And we're going to use the chair that comes from the Sit, Stay, Relax, which is this one here. It's got a cat already laying on it, but um, it gets covered up when I layer on top of it so 
really cute. All right, so our card base is going to be um, Tahitian Tide. Let me get my instructions out here. Yes, Tahitian Tide, and it measures five and a half inches by eight and a half inches, and then it's scored in the middle at four and a fourth inches. So we're going to go ahead and burnish that edge. And you can start layering a little bit. Um, hmm. So I have a basic white, which is going to be our mat, and that measures four and an eighth inches by five and three eighths inches. And then for the inside of our card, I've got one that measures four inches by five and a fourth inches, and I got to make sure I've got the right one here. All right, that's the inside. That's the four inch. Let me put that in the inside so I don't get confused. And then I've got our designer series paper, which comes from our 2022 to 2024 in color six by six designer series paper, and it has all the in colors and it's got different patterns. There's, I believe, four different patterns to this. So we've got. We've got the polka dots on one side, the plaid. We got flowers, and then we've got the stripes on the other side. And um, all the colors come in those same designs. So, um, all right. So now we can. We got plaid, or we got the polka dots, and I think I'm going to stick with the polka dots. We could switch it over because both sides look good. But I think I'm going to go with the polka dots. Well, let me have your opinion. Would you like the polka dots or the plaid? I'll wait for your answer while I get me a drink of water here. I've got some ice water sitting here. Okay. Plaid or polka dot? This I've got to do away on my laptop plaid. Okay, we'll change it out. We'll have a little variety. So let's go put our glue on the back of our designer series paper. And my bottle's getting kind of low. I have to shake it every so often. I don't know how long a bottle of glue lasts me. I've never timed it. I need to do that. It's been a while. All right, we're going to get that centered as best I can. You know, I'm challenged that way. All right, so we've got that glued down. And we're going to go ahead and put that on the front of our card. Okay, and open that up a minute and we'll Place this down on our card front. Alright. And we're going to set that aside for a little bit. And we're going to come back in. And I've already die cut a basic white using the stitched rectangles. And I'm using this die to cut that out with and I've already done that so put that in our bowl and make sure I've got the right side going here and we're going to stamp our chair using our black memento ink to stamp that towards the top in the center because I want to leave room to put our sentiment underneath it. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp our sentiment while we're there. 
and that goes on a strip of white paper that is um, three and a half inches by one inch and we'll let that dry a little bit and we're using the just sitting here thinking of you again and I'm going to stamp that towards the right side Hopefully it's on there straight. If not, we'll turn our paper over. And I guess that's pretty good. It's a little bit crooked, but it's not bad. We'll go with it. And then I'm going to bring back my take your or banners pickup punch. We're going to be using this one on that one, the Audi. Or the any. That'd be the any. <laughs> And I'm going to place that in there. We're going to chop off both ends. And I like to turn my punches over so I can see that it's straight, which that is. And then we'll turn it over and do the other side. Oops. Add that off a little bit. And do the same at that end. Okay, so there's our sentiment, and that's going to go across here. All right, but we'll set that aside, and we'll bring in our blends, which are uh, we are using the Tahitian Tide, uh, both the light and dark. And I'll go ahead with that, and then I'll explain the colors as I go. All right, so we're going to color the design on the chair with the dark Tahitian Tide. Some of these won't show, but I'm going to go ahead and do them because I don't want to have to go back and fill them in in case they do show. So I might as well just do them all. Okay. I may do a Christmas card next week. I've got a stamp set that I'm wanting to use that I've just ordered last night. So hopefully it gets here. So I'll have time to work with it a little bit before next week. I don't know. Um, We'll have to see. I didn't really order too many Christmas ones this year, um, this time. Um, I've got a few from the last catalog that I can use, so. But I know everybody likes to see new products being used. So I try to order a pretty good variety, but sometimes you just can't do that. Uh, the budget won't allow it. <laughs> Darn budget. And with all the prices going up so high right now, it's hard to have a little extra money to play with. I know I dread going to the grocery store all the time. Um, it's really gotten outrageous, the prices. Between that and gas, I'm not sure which one's worse. Mm. All right, I'm almost done here. Uh, it would be faster if I used the fat tip, so let me do that. And I don't care if I color the cat blue because he's not going to show on this one. So I'll save him some time on the cat because I've already colored it, so he won't have to sit and watch me do that one. That's a plus. <laughs> that worked out good. Skinny in to do the 
here arm. So I don't go outside the lines. Okay. And I'll use the light smoky slate to do the chair legs. I could just leave them in the black that the ink goes there, but I wanted to put a little bit of color in with them. All right, so I don't need anything else out of there because we've already got it colored. And I'm gonna put this up on dimensionals. A lot of dimensionals today. And if you didn't want to pop it up to send it through the mail, you wouldn't have to. Um, it's however you want to do it. All right, we'll take our take your pick tool again, and we'll pop off those backings of our dimensionals. Yeah, it's Amber. You're right. Um, use what we got sometimes. It's always fun getting new stuff too, but sometimes we just have to bite the bullet and say no to ourselves. Okay, so we're going to center that on the front of our card front. And I think that's a little bit off there. There we go. So there's our card so far. And I think I'll go ahead and put this down. So I'm just going to put glue on the center part of our banner. And then we're going to place that just up from the bottom edge a little bit and center that onto our card. And I could go over just a tiny bit. Well, it ain't going to move. We'll leave it right there. All right. So here's our kitty. Um, I think I colored her using the smoky slate. And I used the uh, flirty flamingo light for her ears and her little cheeks of her mouth. And then the crown I did with um, Daffodil Delight. So she's really cute, I like her. And uh, we're not gonna place her on dimensionals because we already got this already popped up. So we're just gonna glue her down, make her sit in the chair. And I guess I'm a cat person and a dog person. I've got both, so. And we're going to set them down just a little bit on that bottom cushion. All right, so there we go. Isn't she cute? All right, and then our dots that we're using are the Glossy Dots assortment. And I'm using the yellow because it goes with the Daffodil Delight on her crown. And I want to use the smallest one. There's three different sizes, but we're going to use the small one. And I'm just going to place three onto our banner here. And hopefully I get them spiced out good. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, so there's our our kitty. And we could put some Wink of Stella on that crown to make it a little shinier. Let me do that. Uh, that's the only place I'm going to put the Wink of Stella. I don't think the camera's picking that up very well. Okay, so the inside of our card is our basic white, which I already gave you the direct instructions on that. And then I've got a strip of the designer series paper that we're going to put across the left side edge. And that is um, three quarters of an inch by five and a fourth inches. I think that was the length of that. Yeah, five and a fourth by three fourths. And I think I'm going to go with the plaid too on that side. So I'm going to Glue, put glue on the dotted side. Uh, 
sentences. And I think I'm going to set that over here for a moment. I'm going to go ahead and stamp our sentiment. Uh, just to make sure I get it on here straight in case I have to turn the paper over. And that one says, glad we're friends. And that comes from that same stamp set with the animals on it. And I'm going to put it off to the right side a little bit and kind of centered. Uh, yeah, I think that's okay. So it might be just a tiny bit crooked, but uh, we'll go with it. And then we'll place our designer series paper strip uh, on the left side and leave just a small border on there. Am I straight? Okay. And sometimes you don't cut it the same length. So I'm going to come back in here, turn it over, and snip off that excess. I'd rather have too much than not enough, so. Sometimes I do cut it just a hair longer than what it's supposed to be. Just because of that reason. Alright, now we're going to come back in here. We're going to place that on the inside of our card. And just like so. Alright. So there we have our second card. Just sitting here thinking of you with the kitty cat. And it says, glad we're friends. And if you wanted the guinea pig, that would be that one there. So you've got some choices here. Uh, let me know which one you like better. Okay. I'm just checking the comments if there's any questions. Okay, the husband said, good job. He must be taking a break and watching me. <laughs> He pops on here every so often. Okay, like I said, let me know if you like the cat one or the guinea pig one. We'll kind of take a poll here and see what everybody's opinion is. All right, so we're going to go with our third card, which is mostly using uh, designer series paper to be the focal point. I think I only used one stamp. Sentiment was all I used. Um, and it was the just a note from the go to greetings. All right, so here's our finished card. Is what it looks like. It's a fun fold. And it says just a note, and we're gonna heat emboss this. And there's the inside, so it kind of matches up to this border here. And I didn't write anything on the inside or put anything on the inside because I thought, well, maybe, you know, it says just a note, so it gives you room to write a little note, which makes sense to me. And the paper that that comes from, comes from, it is called Perfectly Penciled. And this is all black and white paper. Um, let me see if I can get you in camera view to give you some idea what they look like. Okay, so we've got this pattern and pass this on the back side. I'm just going to wait a second and make sure it's showing on the camera. Okay, and you get two sheets of each design. And here's another, and that's the back side. And another with some smaller flowers. And it's got polka dots on the back side of that. Black background with white polka dots. And then we've got some more flowers. And it has the stripes on the back. Black and white stripes. And then we have some more flowers that have the black plaid on the back. And more flowers again. And it's got, but that's the background. So you could either leave these just a plain black and white, or you can color them, or use your blending brushes to add some color. Um, a lot of options with that paper. Um, 
So let's go ahead and get started there. Um, <clears throat> our card base, again, is our thick basic weight. And that measured five and a half by eight and a half inches and scored in the middle at four and a fourth inches. And then I cut one inch off of that top fold. So that would make it seven and a half inches then this length <coughs> okay and then we're going to burnish that edge <coughs> goodness I got that frog back again okay. we're going to set our card base aside and <coughs> goodness uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and just do one layer at a time here so I don't confuse everybody including myself okay so we've got uh, a black basic black mat that measures three and an eighth inches by five and three eighths inches and then we've got our designer series paper that measures three inches by five and a fourth inches and we're going to go ahead and glue that to our our black mat here and get that out of the way This is kind of a simple card. I think the longest part is going to be embossing, which that usually goes fairly fast too. So uh, we're good on time, I think. Uh, it's just a tiny bit over an hour. But if you need to go, you can come back and watch the replay later. Yeah, Amber, I think I agree with you. The one with the butterflies, that's why I chose that one today. It's very cute. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and do our heat embossing with our black little strip, which measures, um, what size was that? Um, yeah, well, um, I'm not seeing it, didn't I write it down? Okay, yeah. One inch by three and an eighth inches is what size this is. I thought I wrote it down. All right, so we're going to come back in and we're going to do uh, just a note, but we're going to do some heat embossing. So we're going to have to use our Versamark pad. And I'm going to use our embossing buddy. And this comes as a tool kit. Um, Stampin' Up! just came out with this this year. And they used to have the embossing buddy, but they took it away from us last year. But they brought it back this year, but included it with the tool kit. So it's the embossing buddy, uh, a brush to brush off any excess powder, and then also the reverse tweezers to hang on to your papers so you don't burn your fingers. And then the tray to dump your embossing powder in. And then when you're done, you just open this little bitty lid at the one end and then you can pour it out into your jar again so you're not wasting. So I'm going to start with my embossing buddy first and I'm going to get rid of any static cling that might be on my paper or um, the oils from your fingers too will cause the embossing powder to stick where you don't want it to stick. So that just helps to get rid of all that off of there so it'll be a cleaner stamp and we're going to bring in our first mark pad and we're going to ink up our sentiment which says just a note and when you think it's all inked up good I usually come back in and do it again and we're going to just stamp that in the center of our black cardstock here and Hope for the best that it's straight, which if it isn't, you can turn it over and use the back side. You've got two sides to every paper. And that looks good. And I'll put our lid back on our Versamark ink because we don't want to make a mess. And I'm going to come in here with my tool kit. And I've got something in there I need to get rid of. You could also use your embossing buddy to get rid of the static out of here too but we're not going to take the time today we're just going to jump right in here and get it done all right so um, the embossing 
powders come in two different ones. This one is the Basics Stamping Embossed Powders, which has the white, um, the clear, and then the black. So we're going to be using the white. And I'll take my lid off. And we're just going to pick up our cardstock here and dump our powder on that. And I'm making sure I'm in camera view yet. And we're just going to tap off that excess. And the brush is good for taking off some specks on there that might have gotten hitched a ride. Okay, I think I'm going to put a little bit more right there. A little smear right there. All's better. And I'm just going to set that aside for now. I'll pour that back in my container later. And we're going to use our reverse tweezers here to hang on because it's a smaller strip of paper. Just going to put the cover on our embossing powder. We'll have it flying all over the place. I'm going to come back in with my heat tool. Oh yeah, your stamparatus for your Bible journaling. Yeah, that works good. It keeps it in place. So, I uh, apologize for the noise. Um, I'm not sure how loud this is on the video. But it only takes a, a minute or so to start embossing. It's got to heat up first. And it should start here just right now it is. I love to watch this change. It's so fascinating to me. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like magic, I guess. Okay, so once it changes colors and gets kind of a shiny, then it's done. I'm going to go across the back side and straighten my paper a little bit. Okay, so I'm turn that off. And hmm, I'm something running. I'm not sure. Oh, I got some embossing powder on my work surface. We're going to brush that off. I guess it's my laptop making noise. I'm hoping it's not fixing to shut down. It overheats sometimes. And, uh, otherwise, it works good. I don't know. I guess because it's old. Alright, so we're going to attach this to our lower portion of our card front. And I'm just gluing it directly down with our glue. This would go through the mail real good because it's no dimensionals on it. So we should get by with just one stamp probably, I would guess. And we're just going to place that towards the bottom portion. And press that down. And it kind of sticks over the one side here, so we're going to come in here and trim that off just a bit. It probably wouldn't matter, but it would bug me, I guess. Alright, so we're going to place that on the front of our card now. And we're just using some more glue. Or your adhesive of choice you could use. Uh, if you had the seal plus or the seal, that would work good. Uh, any kind of adhesive would work. Alright, so I'm going to open this. I'm going to lay it down flat to get it fairly straight. Like I said, that's challenging to me sometimes. You know, it looks like my husband's finishing up and he's fixing to come in the house. Hmm. Okay, and now I'm going to come in with my inside, which is our black mat, and that measures, 
Let me see where I wrote that down. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the black. Um, I'm looking at the wrong directions here. I wonder I was confused. <laughs> All right. Um, the black is three and one eighth inches. No. Four and one eighth inch by five and three eighths inches, and the white is four inches by five and fourth inches. And then our um, strip of designer series paper measures one inch by five and an eighth inches. And then I've got a little black strip that we're going to add to that. That is one fourth inch by five and a fourth inch. So let's go ahead and start assembling these. I'm going to put our white layer onto our black layer All right. be sure you like and share the video also it brings me more viewers and who knows some of your friends might enjoy watching me too so the more the merrier is what I say and I'm kind of matching up Okay. I was looking to see where my butterfly was on the top or the bottom. So, And then we're going to do the strip of designer series paper on the right side. And like I said, I'm matching up the butterfly, which is down at this bottom corner. So I want to make sure I've got them facing each other and it should match up. So that is the same length as the white portion is. And then we've got this little black strip we're going to put beside that. And try not to get glue on my fingers too much. And we're going to place that down beside our designer series paper. Cover that seam a little bit. Okay. And then we can glue it on the inside of our card. And I've got a little piece of black that didn't cut. It's got a little piece that needs to be snipped off there. There we go. That would bug me. Now I'll make sure I've got it going the right way that the butterfly is still at the bottom. And we're going to center that on the inside of our card. And I'm going to flip it over to make sure that my mats are matching it. See, because then the butterfly lines up to the other butterfly, which is kind of cool. And we'll press that all down. And then we have some gems that we're going to use. They're the classic matte dots. And I'm going to use the white and the black ones, so we're going to mix them up. Bring back my take your pick tool. And I'm going to grab a larger white and we'll place that on our sentiment strip and a smaller one. Put those two there and then we're going to come back and get a large black and we're going to place that oh this is the hardest part is deciding where to put our gems at um, maybe right here just place it dead <laughs> don't overthink it all right and then I've tied a triple bow I wrapped my black and white twine together when I was tying a bow so I came out with a triple black and white bow and I used it's from the Baker's Twine Essential Pack and there's five different colors in here so we use the black and then the white and I'm going to place that onto our card using a mini dimensional or mini glue dot I should say and these are from the paper pumpkin ones they're a little bit smaller than the mini glue dots are so I kind of like using them for the smaller bows I'm just going to place that underneath the 
sentiment there. And I'm going to kind of curl it up a little bit into a, like a log. And then I can place my bow on top of that and it shouldn't show through. And I maybe should have put it down a little lower. I'm going to scooch that down a little bit lower. It's kind of covering up my word there. Can we move you a tiny bit more? Yeah, we can. Okay. All right, so here we have our third and final card. It says, just a note. And then it, you got room to write a note in here, either on here or on here, whichever you prefer. So um, I hope you enjoyed the cards today. Um, let me bring them all out here. And can I squeeze both of these in here maybe? Um, maybe so. I'm just making sure I'm getting them on the camera view. Uh, this is one we did during the live today, but this is one that I was going to do and then we changed it out because we got, we did a question of which ones you guys wanted to do. Okay, so here's our three cards today. Uh, kind of crowded here. Let me scooch over just a bit. And with a delay on my laptop, I gotta wait to see if it's looking good. All right, I guess that's about the best I can do with it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the cards today. I hope you'll sh like and share the video. And if you're watching it on the replay, you can also do it there. And if you have any questions or comments, be sure you comment even if it's not live and if you're watching the replay because I go back and I look at comments occasionally and I can answer you then and if you're watching it on YouTube be sure that you hit that subscribe button down below and you can also share the video on YouTube also I, I would appreciate that too very much if you do that and be sure you tell your friends and family about me um, I'd like to invite everybody to come join in the fun so next Wednesday, uh, it'll be the same time, same channel at 10.30 a.m. Central Time, and that would be October 12th. So I'm hoping that you'll be able to join me. And um, like I said, I'm hoping to maybe do a Christmas card. It depends on if my order comes in soon enough. Otherwise, I don't know. It'll be something. I like to do at least three cards each time, so... If you have any suggestions, be sure you reach out to me too, and I'd be glad to see what I could come up with. I'm always open for suggestions. So I'm going to let you go for today. Um, thank you for being here. Y'all have a great, wonderful rest of the week. Bye.